Okay, so very few of the wiring guys that I sell have had a problem. And we figured out what it was. So if you have a flex fuel plug and play setup from me, we put the ground wire over on the chassis ground. So there is power, 12 volt, key on, five volt, sensor ground, and chassis ground on my plugs. That's how they come out. That's how they are on the Holly side. That's just uh, all there is to it. So what we did was the flex sensor 95% of the time works beautifully just being chassis grounded. No issue there at all. So we figured why possibly harm or cause interference on the sensor ground if we don't need to. So we have found that some cars get real angry with the ethanol content dancing all over the place. And there's no, the sensors don't fix it, the wall harness doesn't fix it, nothing does. But moving the chassis ground over to the sensor ground does on the flex harness. So you'll notice on the flex harness that the chassis ground is only used, not this guy. So what you got to do is move this pin over. It's not very hard. Uh, luckily, this connector is very easy to do. You can do it with a paper clip. But if you use like a fine screwdriver, let me can't look through the camera and do this so hopefully I get it. yeah there we go you just get it over that lip right there and same with the other side and it goes flying onto the floor so there you got your pins now this isn't exact but uh, you will get the idea so I have one of these Metropack pin removal tools so in the top of this pin let me get one for you this will make it really easy actually check this out this is the pin that's in that connector, and you can see this little tooth is what gets caught on the inside track. So you want to hold it with the pin down inside the connector. As you can see here, the pins are all at the bottom of that square, and you're going to reach in, and all you have to do is depress that little uh, pin down. It's not very hard. You jam the thing in there, and you push it down, and it'll create clearance so you can slide it out. So we're going to pull both end pieces I'm gonna go in there push down pull out and we're gonna go in there push down and pull out and then since yours is only gonna have this guy what you want to do is take that single wire uh, ignore this guy ignore the man behind the you want to push this guy back in because sometimes it can flatten out and then it won't latch again see I just put it up a little bit and then you want to go into the end and ta-da! Oh, you're supposed to put it in the sensor ground. You're supposed to move it from the end to the inside. But this is one I already have pre-built for something, so I'm putting it back together. Normally, horrible advice. But yeah, it's that easy. You'll hear it click. Uh, oh, see this one? Perfect example. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't pull the... You gotta push this guy back in. Get yourself a little bit more... Uh... Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. There's like a max focal point. I push that guy in a little bit so that it's proud to catch the tab. See if I did it enough. Oh, I did, okay. This seal's a little low. That's why it's throwing me off, but yeah. And then you pick up this guy off the floor. And you uh, organize your wires into it. One, two, three, four. TPA is what that's called, a TPA clip. Holds all the thingamajigs together. There you go. Hope that explains it, shows how to fix it. Let me know if it helps you guys. Sorry for that, but uh, hundreds, hundreds, and that's the only issue, but figured it out. Thanks, bye.